So these are some helpful tips in Zelda 3DS Ocarina of Time that I found out that are very useful and can help out many people. Of course you're familiar with this thief hideout. The guards keep busting you, but well, not a lot of people might know this. Inside the hideout, the thief hideout, you can freeze the guards with your long shot. Just simply shoot them with the long shot and they freeze. They stay frozen for a while. So you can just sneak past them, or you can knock them out with your sword and they go unconscious. I didn't film that. I should have, but I didn't film that. But I usually just daze them and move on. They stay dazed for about 15 seconds. And then she comes around and spots me. She's undazed. So that might help you out in that part. Every gossip stone contains a fairy inside. Those little stones that everybody think is useless, they all contain fairies. Simply play Zelda's Lullaby and the fairies come out. This is right outside the Temple of Time. This is a really great refill spot for your fairies. If you're running low in a dungeon, just play the Prelude of Light, come here and refill the fairies. This is what I'm doing here. Out of fairy. Hi, Billy Mays here for Mighty Putty. The easy way to fix, fill, and seal virtually anything fast and make it last. What the hell? Nobody wants your Mighty Putty. Will you shut the hell up, Billy Mays? This is my review. Get out of my review. Okay. Sounds like Link's got a cold. Keeps sneezing on me. Wonder if that Mighty Putty can fix a cold. Hmm. But this is a great spot to refill. You get four fairies every time. Every gossip stone in the game contains fairies inside. Just play Zelda's Lullaby. It's incredibly useful on Master Quest. Like I said, just use the prelude to light the warp here to refill fairies. And then you can warp back to the temple you were at. You can freeze the re-deads, the zombie dudes, with the sun song. Not a lot of people know that, but you just play the sun song and they freeze in place. Man, he's got a really bad cold. He must have caught that from the water temple. I think Link's got pneumonia. Huh. You see, they're frozen in place. I can run around. Um, now kill them one at a time. And they also give you a magic bottle every time you kill them. So... It is a great place to fill up your magic. So I usually come here with the Prelude of Light, get my four fairies, go down in town, freeze these guys. That wears off after a certain amount of time. You have to refreeze them. And then I just refill my magic and then I warp back to the temple I was at. Incredibly useful. Um, when attacking them, attack them from behind because then it takes them time to turn around and scream at you. But... Here's me doing it again. He keeps sneezing. Man, Link needs to go see a doctor. You think they got a doctor in Hyrule? They should. I don't know. I know they got a potion shop, but do they got a doctor? Yeah, he needs some antibiotics. Navi showing you something pointless? That green Navi is a golden fairy. Yes, you might notice the golden fairy up here on Death Mountain by this flag post. Play the sun song. That's a golden fairy hidden. There are multiple spots around the game. You'll see them in temples and all kinds of places. Just play the sun song and the golden fairy comes out. What does the golden fairy do? Well, the golden fairy gives you health and magic. Yes. Here, I'll show you again. Notice my hearts and magic down there at the bottom. I'm pretty low on both. 
I play the Sun song. Hi, Billy Mays here for OxyClean. Man, I don't want your OxyClean either. Get out of my review. I already have a cabinet full of cleaners. You don't need a cabinet full of cleaners. Yes, I do. You shit me. And watch my hearts and magic refill. There's the Golden Fairy. Hi, Billy Mays here for OxyClean. Told you to shut up, Billy Mays. This is my review. And, yep, I'm full again. So useful. I use it all the time. And time to suicide. Whee! If you can't avoid rolling rocks on death mounting, roll into them. Just roll right into them. Notice when I get hit by them, I lose half, half a heart at a time. Mm, that's without rolling. But watch when I roll into them. I take no damage. Spin dash! Spin dash! And now no roll. My heart still fall. So if you roll into them, you don't take any damage. But if you just let them hit you, you take damage. That's just a couple helpful tips in Zelda 3DS Ocarina of Time. I hope they helped out and remember to subscribe.